Welcome to Section 3, General Guidelines for Editing. So we're going to take a look at best practices for editing in collaborations. We're going to talk about respecting each other's contributions, setting limits, and defining expectations. So how much to contribute, the roles, limits, etc. So in this we're going to take a general look of how to collaborate effectively using Google Docs within Canvas, but we're going to talk more generally about the attributes of a supportive atmosphere for optimal conditions for collaboration. We're going to edit a document within Google Docs. So let's think about the guidelines for editing. Respect is paramount. First and foremost, we respect our collaborators. And then we also give each other freedom and creativity. We encourage creativity. We also try to differentiate who contributes what, that's not as important, really, though, as, as sharing comments and notes and also establishing when and how to add or delete text in order to maintain a really good esprit de corps. So let's just take a look and go jump into it. So let's go to Memoirs and the Person. Now let's think about places where we should put guidelines. Right now we're just going to talk about guidelines for editing. It's always a good idea to have them in two places. One would be in the home page. So notice you can you can just edit the home page and go into the regular editor and we can add guidelines for editing here. Or we can go ahead and do it go into collaborations and put the guidelines in the actual text. So Let's go into Naughty Dog. We're collaborating on this. So notice in the first part of every single document, we've put the guidelines here. So we just type the guidelines at the very top, and then we separate it from the actual document. So notice I say how to add text, how to add notes, when to add notes and to delete text, different roles, when to use editing mode, suggesting mode, viewing mode. Um, the modes are here, editing. We can edit the document directly, suggesting where the edits become suggestions, a little bit like track changes, and viewing where you don't edit it at all, you just print. So we'll go into more details about how to do that in the next one. For now, let's just go back and review what we've learned. Google Docs creates an effective collaboration space, but you really need to make sure that everyone's on the same page. They share the same goals and procedures and attitudes about collaboration. Also, first and foremost, everyone needs to respect each other's boundaries and also understand where to do things like use comments and notes features, different colors, fonts, edit mode. Those are all things that you will put down in the guidelines, either in your home page, could be in the announcements page, but even better at the top part of every document just to get started. You can always take it out at the end. So as you're explaining the rationale and providing thoughts even about the protocol and guidelines, feel free just to have a stream of consciousness. That often works. So We've talked about this now.